Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andre Salazar, AEW. A little, little wrestling thing. Uh, I'm excited today because we're gonna do an unboxing, okay? I got something here. You know, you got all these videos of these little kids, and they got like a million views, and they got all these, they just open up some Thomas the Train toys, and they get like two million views. Well, guess what? I'm taking over that world. I'm doing unboxing from my friends at Amazon. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say. Uh, a freaking comic book. Okay, let's do this. So Chris Ware, I saw him at Comic-Con for the first time. He rarely does comic conventions. I was super stoked to see him this year at San Diego. And he was promoting his new book, uh, Rusty Brown. Very excited about it. And guess what? It came today, two days after my birthday. I got my present. I pre-ordered it back then at Comic-Con. And it's here, it's finally out. We're gonna unbox it, if they make sense for a graphic novel. And then we're gonna check it out and all that kind of stuff. So let's get on in this, let's do this. Boom, let's, let's do this. Okay, here we go. Xacto blade, okay. Be careful, never cut. Once I opened and I sliced, um, it was a shirt or something, something fabric, I was so bummed out. Okay, here we go. Let's see if Amazon screwed me up with their packaging. Sometimes with soft covers, you gotta worry about that. I think we'll be fine because of the hardcover. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, look how beastie this is. This was, how much was this? 35 bucks, which actually, honestly, is not bad at all for the size of this. You know, usually books like these would be closer to 50. Um, I'm not saying it's cheap, but 35 is not bad for this type of book at all. Considering it's a hardcover and everything, not bad at all. So thank you, um, Pantheon Books, I think it is, who published this. Okay, um, let's look at this, dude. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. This looks, oh, I'm taking off the glasses. I'm getting serious. Oh, yeah. Okay, just like in, um, oh, look at this. This is rad. So similarly to what? Okay, we gotta check this out, dude. This is gonna be fun. Oh, look at this. This looks like one of these like poster jobs, yeah. So this is gonna open up. Yeah, this is gonna open up. Yeah, mama. Ba down. Yeah, okay. This is what I'm talking about. So this is cool. Flip side. Yeah, I love these things he does. I mean, he's just freaking brilliant. One of my favorites of all time. Super excited about this. Okay, this is too massive for the camera. It's too awesome, but let's look at, okay, so that's this. Dust jacket, epic. Look at this. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, look what he did. What? What the freak is that little smudge? Oh, see, dude, you get the smudge. Freaking Amazon. I didn't do that right. No, I ain't got nothing that's smudgy. Looks like a dock worker did this or something. Okay. Um, rusty and then brown is just with that. Yeah. Look at this. This looks great. Just the design. You know, tiny name. Pantheon right there. Rusty. Can't even see the word brown. Unless you look. I mean, you could you could hardly read read it actually if you. Didn't know it was called Rusty Brown. Oh, this looks great. This really does look cool, man. Um, I love this old, like, uh, textbook, you know, style thing he did. And I think I have read some of this because I think this is just a collection of all the Rusty Brown stuff. So some of this stuff will have been in, like, Lint, I think, and some of the other earlier um, Acme novelty libraries. Oh, wow. This is cool, man. Oh. Let me see if I just recognize any of it. Yeah, I recognize this here. So yeah, so it looks like the first, the first, what is this? At least up to here, I've read this. So this might be lint. Yeah. Oh, it's got that smell too. It's got that smell, dude. Yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm so excited about it. I love Chris Ware. He's like my favorite. And I think part of the reason why he's my favorite is because there's no way I can reproduce him. I mean, I can't like 
do, I mean, I could say like, okay, I'm going to do a comic like Chris Ware, but it's not that simple. It would just be a very, very, you know, shallow, you know, copy. I just, I wouldn't be able to do it. I just don't have it in me. You know, his design is just so damn out there. Yeah, this looks great. Okay. Uh, let me, oh, this is this, I think this, this does feel bigger than my, okay, let's just get this for perspective. Here is Jimmy Corrigan. So look at Jimmy Corrigan. Okay. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen, boom. He drew that too, Andy. Look, Chris freaking where? I love it. Okay. Um, so let's just compare and contrast. Yeah. So it's definitely bigger. It's thicker. More pages. And it's bigger. And it's beefy. And I can't wait to read it. And I will do a full review of it once I get some time. I'm reading Nausicaa. I'm reading a bunch of other stuff right now. But this looks great. Oh my gosh. This looks so good. Okay. That's the unboxing. This is Rusty Brown. Go get it. Order it. Um, I mean, get it at your local comic shop. Don't get it at Amazon like me. I'm a nerd. Okay, I got it. I don't know why I did. It was cheap, basically. Um, and Cash is King. Okay, this is great. I'm really excited to read this. Chris Ware. If you, have, if you don't know much about Chris Ware, go check out my other video I did. One of the earlier ones about, uh, about this book. Jimmy Corrigan. Um, yeah, good stuff. There you go. Unboxing. Enjoy. Hey, thanks for checking it out. Check out the Patreon and uh, link subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Thanks, guys. Bye.